Welcome back to At Home with Art Factory. Today we are going to be modelling with Fimo in your pack, in your Art Factory craft box one. You've got a pack of Fimo and inside there you've got a bunch of different colours. We're going to make a really cool little figure today. I'll show you a picture of the finished thing here. We're going to get going. Open up your packs, make sure you've got a nice clean surface that doesn't have any crumbs on it and you're going to need a sharp pencil to uh, do a little bit of modelling at the end. Let's go. So, first things first, we're going to get this Fimo unwrapped. Do you want to give me a hand unwrapping it? Okay. Step by step. They're all separate so the colours haven't mixed together. So that's step one, get your Fimo all laid out, ready to go. Then we're going to take off a tiny little pinch of the lightest blue and um, we're going to use that for the eyeballs a bit later. So just a small pinch, that much, just half a pea and we're going to put that aside just over there and then we're going to do the same with a couple of other colours. So take a small pinch of the dark pink as well, same sort of amount or even smaller, you can take a tiny bit less than that even. That's for the tongue. Then a small pinch of the light pink, just a small pinch for the spots that are gonna go on the outside of the body once we're done. Put that aside. Okay, next step. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix a whole load of these colors together. We're gonna put aside the yellow for later and we're going to put aside the black for a bit later. But the rest of these colours, we're actually going to be mixing all together to make one amazing colour. So, in order to do that, just squish them. Maybe do a few of them at a time. I'll give you some to do. Just squish them together like this. You can do some at the same time. And you're going to roll it into a ball in your, in your hands like this and it will get warmer. You need to warm this stuff up for it to mix together. Okay, try not to drop any little bits. Some of the colors will take a little bit more warming up than others. Just got to work it with your thumbs, fold it in half, give it a twist. It's pretty cool when those colors just start mixing together. I love it. So it's up to you how much you mix it all together. You can keep mixing it until it becomes a perfect smooth colour or you can leave some sort of marbling effect. So let's get all of these together now. I'll take this one. This, this colour blue is a bit crumbly. I've noticed that. So we need to just warm it up a little bit more. I'm going to put it in my hands, roll it into a sausage like this. Like that, roll it into a sausage. And keep rolling it. Oh yeah, this light blue one really is crumbling for me. Maybe we need to heat that one up first. Maybe that would be good advice. Okay, mix that all together as one. That looks nice, doesn't it? Just gonna roll it on the table to pick up all the little bits we've dropped. The heat from your hands really helps mix the colours together, so keep rolling it in your palms. So keep on mixing it until you get a colour that you're happy with, and just rolling it into a sausage. So making this ball of all the different colours mixed together, it's going to take you a little while, maybe five minutes or ten minutes even. So keep rolling this ball together, making it warm, making a sausage, folding it in half, and then roll it again until it's really mouldable and you're going to be able to make things with it that you want to. So, next step is to take this big main lump and we're going to split it in half. So, you can just... Gently pinch it together 
It split might be it easier in half. if it's a sausage. Might be easier if it's a sausage, yeah. Once you've split these two bits in half, we're going to use one half to be the body and the tail. Okay, slightly bigger half actually. I'm just going to take a little bit more and add it in there. Okay, this remaining bit is going to be a head, and this bit here is going to be the body. So, the body, what we want is a nice round body that has got a tail attached to it. So, I'm just going to mold the end of it into a pointy bit. Not sharp pointy, but just a bit like a chicken drumstick. And that is going to be the tail and the main body section. So you want something that looks a bit like that. Okay, the rest of this big lump is going to be split in half again. And again, you want one slightly bigger of the halves. So I'm going to take one of them, the bigger one, I'm going to make it into a ball. Nice round ball in my hands, in the palms of my hands. And I'm going to attach it to the body. Do you want to attach it to the body? Just plonk it on. What, him? And yeah, not too much pressure because you don't want to squash everything. Just give it a little bit of a twist on there. Yeah. Lovely. When it cooks, that's going to stay on there forever. And we, we're going to put arms that wrap around anyway. So that's the next step. You've modeled the head and you just pop it on top there. Okay, once we've got the head on top of the body, we're going to take this last remaining section and we're going to split that again. And once again, we're going to split it slightly unevenly okay so one of these sections is going to be the arms and one of them is going to be the legs so i'm going to make sausages from these you can roll it on the table with a few fingers i'm going to make two sausages one is fatter than the other one's got more material That's it, that's good. So, we're going to take the thinner one, that's going to be our arms, and it's going to wrap around the neck, just like this. Yeah, so those are going to be this fella's arms. We're going to model them a bit later. We're going to put a split in them. But that's how they wrap around. We're going to look at the legs. The legs we're going to split in half. They're not going to wrap around. I'm just going to chop them in half. So we've got our two separate legs there. I guess we'll model those by giving them just a little curl on them, like an S shape. little bit of an S shape. Can you do the same there? That's it. So, mirror image of each other. We can attach those on as well. They're going to go on the sides. One goes there. One is where his hip is, there. And just smooth that in a little bit with our finger. And you can put the one on the other side if you don't mind to match it. So it doesn't really matter exactly too much where it goes. Just make them nice and symmetrical. And those are his front feet. Lovely. And we've got a really great little shape there of a little character emerging. Okay, now what you might want to do is um, take your sharp pencil that we were talking about earlier, that we got ready. And we're just going to use that sharp pencil to poke a split in the front of his 
arms there, just so they split in half there. So I'm just carefully poking that in at the top. You could do this with a little knife if you want to. I just thought a pencil would be the easiest thing to do. And that's how we can get some cute little claws in there. So those are where the, those are how the claws look. Now what we're going to do is make his little tiny toenails. So I need just four tiny little grains. It's like a grain of rice that I need. That's, that's the only amount that I need on my finger there. Maybe I'll make a sausage and then I'll take little bits from it. That's the easiest way. So I'm going to roll a very thin sausage there. You can do it for me, in fact. And we're going to take little bits. I can snip it with the pencil. One, two, and each one you just roll it up again. Even less than that. Cut it in half again. Once you've rolled it, you'll see it goes longer. And now I've got there little nails that I can put on. Each foot is going to have two nails on it. So there's one there, one there, good. It's up to you how big and chunky. It's probably worth splitting them and splitting them again. It's really just the size of a grain of rice, this modeling. You pick it up on your finger and you put it, put it on. Or you can use your pencil if you like. Pick it up, pop it on. Okay. So that's our next step. Next up, we're gonna make a Mohican for this guy. So we'll take, give a tiny little bit for later. That's all, just a tiny bit for later. We're gonna warm it up and we're gonna turn it into an amazing Mohican. So nice thick sausage we wanna make from this. You can have a go at that. Warm it up and roll it into a sausage. Okay, now your sausage only wants to be the length from the top of his head to the end of his tail. So if you hold that up against it, you'll see yours is probably twice as big as it needs to. Just fold that sausage in half and then we'll mould it. Don't, make, don't roll it too much because you don't want to make it too long. Thank you. That's looking good. So you've got a Mohican that's about that long. And what we're going to do, we'll make it a little bit squarer. So we'll just push it down so you've got a bit of an edge to it, like that. Roll, turn it around just a little bit, roll it over, turn it a little bit. Just so it's got a, bit, a little bit of squareness. Let's put this Mohican on. So we turn it on its side, start it up there. Turn it all the way down the back, yeah. Nice big Mohican on the back of his head. And you can style it up at the front, give it a little pinch at the front. Make it stand up. You can use your pencil. I'll show you how we can. Oh, we've lost a couple of nails there. Don't worry, we'll get them pressed back on. Don't worry if something falls apart on yours. You can always get it back together. It shows you actually, you've got to push these bits of femur, they don't just sit on top of each other, you've got to give them a little bit of a squeeze, make sure it's all working together. Okay, so we've got our dinosaur here and we're ready to add his eyes on. Okay, it's time to take the blue, the small amount of blue that you have, and split it in half. Okay, we're going to roll those into little eyeballs. Okay, and we can pop those onto our dinosaur. I'm going to put them on quite wide outside there. Just got to make sure they're the same sort of level. That's that. Those are the, the whites of his eyes. Okay, now we're going to take 
the black and we're going to split it in half. Okay, split the black in half and then split it in half again. So four pieces all together. Okay, two of those pieces are going to be dots for the eyeballs. These might actually be too big. We've got four bits. I might take a quarter and split it again. So that quarter split in two is the black dot in the middle of the eye. Okay, I want that black dot to be smaller than the white ones that went on there. So if it, if it looks like the dot you're about to put on there is the same size as the white bit, then maybe take it in half again. Keep on getting it smaller and smaller. Hope I'm not confusing you. You want the dot to be smaller than the white. That's good. There you go. Just press it on, not, not too hard. Just try and get an even amount of white around the outside of the eye. So you've got a bit of white there. Okay, now we can get a mouth in there. One of these chunks is going to be the mouth. We'll roll it into a ball. Big, here you go. Roll it into a ball. If you want a bigger mouth, you can do that too. It's completely up to you. If you want to use a little bit more black, that's fine. But you're going to turn it into a ball. Okay. And you're going to squish it down with your thumb. That's that. And then pop that on his mouth. Quite a big mouth, but that's okay. I like a big roaring mouth. You can see deep inside there. And now we can take that tiny bit of pink there. I don't think we actually need as much as we've taken. Just take a tiny little slither off, pretty much the same amount that we used for the nails, yeah. And we're just gonna roll that into a little sausage. And we're gonna put that at the bottom of the mouth. That's gonna be his tongue. Very sort of screaming. If you find it hard to put it on with your fingers, you might want to use the pencil. You just pop it on the end of the pencil. And once you've got it on there, you can use the pencil to put a little bit more shape on there. If you want to push that down, make it look like a tongue, just push that disc a little bit from the top. Okay, now we can use a tiny bit of this pink, this light pink, to make a, a, a row of teeth if you want to. I'm just going to make a long thin sausage like this. Just going to put a row in at the top. A little bit of white teeth there. You don't have to do the teeth, it's a little bit fiddly but it's nice to get that little bit of extra detail in. The last bit of yellow mixed with the pink to make his belly, the spots on his belly. So we'll just take these bits and squish them together into a ball. Okay, roll that into a ball. And we're gonna use that to make his belly. So. You're going to squish that down, take that ball and squish it down with your thumb. A little bit more, but it takes up a bigger amount of air space. Oh, don't want it to stick to the table. Try again. Take that ball, let's not stick it down to the table, let's just pinch it in our fingers like this. Okay, until it's a nice ball that's going to be big enough to go on his tummy there between his legs, wrap it around. That can be on his tummy there. And then some of these last little bits, you've got these tiny little um, light pink bits and you've got this dark pink bits. They're gonna be little spots on the side of his body or the side of his head. So I'll put one there. Just roll them tiny, tiny little dots and spots to add some some character to him. Because no two of these are the same, you see. Oh, dropped one. A little bit fiddly. That's why the pencil's really good little tool. Now, do we have any more? Get, get a dark pink one on there too.
And then the last thing that we're going to do after we've got all these tiny little spots on, we've got matching symmetrical ones there. Looking forward to seeing your ones that you create. I'm going to take this pencil and I'm going to put some texture in his tummy here. Just some, some stripes. Oh, that pencil is actually making a thin black mark line in there. I quite like that. A little bit of added texture. You can use your pencil to just make little dents inside his mouth, maybe even dots in the middle of those eyes. I'm also going to put some ridges up his um, mohawk. I'm just going to carefully draw some lines along there. And we're nearly ready to put this in the oven. It's going to go into the oven at 110 degrees Celsius and we're going to put that for about 10 minutes. I think that's all these little guys need. And I'm looking forward to meeting yours too. This guy is going to be called Colin. And he's got a very tiny little friend here. And I very much look forward to seeing your Fimo creations. Get them cooked, get your grown-ups to do the oven baking for you. And I look forward to seeing yours. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys have made fantastic little dino creations of your own that you're gonna get an adult to bake in the oven for you for 10 minutes on 110 degrees Celsius. Look forward to seeing the results that you guys have made and I will see you next time.